Hi guys, my name is Kat Kerr and welcome to my art studio. I am so thrilled to share some new foam stamps with you today. But before I do, I have some questions from Kristen over at Art Foamies. So let's go ahead and get started. So I came out with my first Art Foamies in 2018 and I remember I was introduced to them by Julie Fafan Balzer and I kind of thought they were a one trick pony that you could use them with your fabric, but it wasn't until I got them in my hands and I realized how truly versatile they are. You can use them in so many applications and that's what I love about them and that's why I continue to use them today. Um, you can use them with your mono printing plate. You can use them on fabric, on your walls, on paper, on plastic. You can use them with acrylic paint. You can use them with crayons and markers and ink pads. Sky's the limit when it comes to using your art foamies. So one of my favorite ways has to be uh, using my foam stamps on my mono printing plate. Now I love my gel press plate, but when I use my foam stamps, it's like taking it to a whole new level. And one of my favorite techniques has to be when I add acrylic paint to just one side of the plate and I spread it out with my brayer and then I take my foam stamp and I just press it into the acrylic paint. I lift it, move it over slightly and then press that design onto another part of the plate that does not have acrylic paint. And I do this until the plate is full and then I pull a print and it's a fun and easy way to create mono prints using my foam stamps. Well, I don't think it's any one particular thing that inspires all of the designs. Since 2018, I've come out with a couple of different sets and each set is inspired by something new and something different. Uh, but I will say that whenever I am designing a product, I'm always looking at my own work and figuring out what I feel is missing. So if I feel like I need some words in my work or some shapes or even a feeling of something, then that is always the starting off point for designing new One products. My personal favorites has to be uh, a stamp that I came out with in the first set and it's the word possibilitarian which I absolutely love. I have had that word on my business card, on my website. I absolutely love it and I think I, I gosh this was so long ago, I heard it for the first time. Kelly Ray Roberts I believe had it on one of her blogs and I think so. Uh, I can't remember, but it was, I, I remember hearing it, I think that was the artist that I heard it from, and I heard it and it just stuck. And I love it because it just really opens your mind and your heart um, when you sit down to create, because anything is possible. Anything that you dream of is possible when it comes to creativity, and um, I just love it. Well, that's it for the questions. Now let me share my new art foamies with you. Now today I'm introducing you to six new designs and I absolutely love the way they came out. Now I did mention uh, previously that most of my designs are not inspired by any one particular thing, but this set as a whole does have some nature inspiration thrown in, as well as some geometric shapes. Now here I'm just showing you how easy it is to take one stamp and one acrylic paint color and create a simple and textured and beautiful background. Now of course you can spend hours playing on your backgrounds and so here I'm just going to share some background pages that I created using some of the foam stamps.
Well, I hope that you enjoyed learning about my new foam stamps with artfoamies.com. For the complete list of materials used in this video, check out that description below. And to check out my new foam stamps, make sure you visit artfoamies.com. Thanks for watching.